Jan Egenfelder, who's president of Viking Aircraft Engines. We're standing here in front of a Vans RV-12, which is the first aircraft of this type to have one of your engines installed. But I understand this is a very versatile engine. Can you tell us a little bit about it? This is the first RV-12 that has the Viking here at Sebring, but we now have three other RV-12s that are flying New Zealand and stateside. So that's becoming exciting because we can do a firewall forward on an RV-12 for half of what the original factory cost is using the engine that was originally designed by the designer of the airplane to go in there. And that's exciting for us because our whole thing is to try to get more and more people flying. We see here at Sebring all these wonderful flying machines that have been designed and people walking around kind of like eyeing them and just kind of thinking, well, you know, that'd be nice to have, but this got to be pretty pricey. <laughs> but now with the Viking, we fit them into power parachutes, gyroplanes, all different kinds of kit planes, the Zenit, Sonics, the RV. We have a whole list of them and we do the firewall forward. Everything is done in CAD, so it's easy for us to build a Viking mount for most of the light sport airplanes. I didn't really think of this, but this is exciting because we have both of the largest power parachute companies in the U.S., for instance, they're leaning towards making the Viking their primary engine rather than their secondary engine. And that's what we'd like to see. We'd really like to see that the effort that we put into designing and all the testing and the 500 hours that we've uh, flown the Viking now in one airplane, never mind all the others that are flying by now, that it's really turned out to be a beautiful engine. And we fly this thing every day at the show here and people are just like really in awe. And, and uh, we're proud of that. Abadine is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Abadine. The engine has an automotive heritage. Well, we'd like to downplay that part. And that's because we feel that we deserve to be considered a true aircraft engine just as much as anyone else. It's true that the engine does use a block that Honda uses in their race cars and in some production cars and also in their outboard motor. But that's where it stops. We took that block and we digitized it, put it into a computer, and we worked around it and rotated it to the position that we wanted it to see it in an airplane engine configuration. And then we designed the Viking around that. And the design of the Viking was to be a true airplane engine with aircraft mounts and a dual ignition and so forth and so on. So yeah, we would say that most light sport airplane engines use internal automotive parts. They use automotive valves and crankshafts and pistons and rings. These things are not manufactured by the other light sport aircraft engine manufacturers as well. So what kind of performance do you get out of this engine? Well, we outperformed the 912 in every category with the Viking over the original installation. Fuel flow is about the same, 5 gallons, 4.95 but we have 510 pounds of thrust, which is phenomenal. The 912, the best we were able to, at our company, test it was 420, maybe 430 on a cold day in the winter, but the Viking continues or consistently with a scale pulls static right up to 510. Now we understand that recently you've made the engine, for lack of a better word, prettier. Yeah, well, we do engines in batches, and we do like 30 at a time. And first one was black anodized with a little bit of gold, and now it's all gold, and people like it. It wasn't just because it was prettier, it was also less expensive to go all gold. So that's just because of the type of coating that's put on. But it does look nice. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. Now, you've said you've got a wide install base. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the types of aircraft? I know you said they're in LSAs and auto gyros, but specifically a couple of companies that are using this engine. We are uh, offering engines for experimental aircraft. 
So mostly the customers of these companies come to us. But we are also working, like I was saying, directly with the manufacturers and so forth. We've been in talks with two powered parachute companies and also not yet finalized, but Kit Fox wants to put one on their aircraft and show it off and flight test it and see if that's a viable OEM engine for them. And the same with several other companies. But we do engines for just aircraft, Highlander, we do Zenit 750, Zenit 650, 601. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of wonderful kit planes that we can fit the engine to. So when a customer buys a basic airframe kit, puts that together, and they have their range of engine options, they just come to you if they decide they want to go with this engine and say, fix me up for, say, a, a CH650. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, And then there's a community, of course, on the internet that we, we support all this and they have 24-hour access to information and we have our own Viking Aircraft forum and website. This last year has become very exciting because there are several 701 Zenits flying, several 601s flying, three RV-12s and our own 601. We have our own RV-12 that's going together. A Sea Ray is now flying and another one is about to fly and there's just a whole lot of things going on and we're doing demos of the thrust on the powered parachutes here, running them up at the show, flying the 12 like I said. It's just now we're so far along in this process that there's no more R&D or testing. We're just making engines, producing them and selling them and super confident about every installation that we sell and our goal is that when someone gets an engine that that engine actually gets in the plane and flies. And we support that with installation DVDs and all kinds of help on our website and new person in customer service at our company. And so we're, we're really excited. Jan, thanks very much for taking some time to talk with us on Aero TV. Yeah, it was wonderful. Thanks for stopping by.